What a beautiful morning out here. It's uh, October the 5th, and it's about 50 degrees out here, 52, something like that. And uh, it's going to be a great morning to work on the barn some. As you can see, I got the logs there, up to the first round above the hayloft. And uh, that's just the log stall. There'll be uh, another stall here, stall here, and the corn crib in the front. And uh, today, I've got to cut some trees, and we're going to try to get this corn crib all framed up. And uh, I'm going to try to video all I can. I broke my tripod from my camera, so uh, I'm going to try to uh, rig it up where it'll still work a little. So uh, we're going to go get all saddled up and get ready to go. Okay, um, I just want to show you, I'm just using this foot edge because I, I just have a little bit right in the center I want to take off to make it pretty level. But now if I wanted to really dress it up, I could uh, put these things sideways and take my dogs and hold them down and take this broad axe and hew the side and it would really make it slick. 
And um, if you was going to hew a log from scratch and not split it, you take and uh, cut notches with an axe about every 16 inches or so and split them off with an axe and then take this broad axe and stand beside it and hew it off. And uh, I'll try to demonstrate that one day. But for this, I don't think I'll need the broad axe. But if I do, I will get to that. Okay, the last video got kind of dark, but uh, the next morning here, uh, you can see we got the second wall standing up. And uh, now, this wall needs to, I have to scoot it over about, I don't know, four inches. And uh, I've got to push the top over a little, level them up. And uh, today, I'll uh, try to get the back and front on it. And I'm uh, going to establish my height from the corn crib over to the log part. And then we're going to build the logs up level so uh, my roof will be straight. And then uh, I've got to put the uh, gable on here too. So uh, got a lot to do on it, but we're sure getting there. <laughs> 